What's up? This turns for T3 Takmed uh, YouTube channel, and um, let's talk about uh, COVID-19, uh, which is really a big problem um, in the international level. But uh, what about Kalibo itself? So, um, as you know, Kalibo, uh, we do have an international airport, and it's called the Kalibo International Airport. The reason why we do we have an airport is because uh, it, we have uh, the island of Boracay. That's so the island of Boracay is international now. Uh, you have the Chinese, you have the the Japanese, uh, the Koreans, even the um, the Australians, the Americans, Russians, Czechoslovakians. A lot of those peoples are here because of the island of Boracay. Let's say because of the sand, the sea, the waves, thing, all those things. I have a bit of footage uh, which I recorded uh, going around uh, in some parts of Kalibo. Uh, some on the streets, some in uh, a uh, department store or a mall. Um, just to you know, show you that we are not panicking actually. Because the people of Kalibo are not panicking, um, or not even uh, going to the point of uh, getting really scared about uh, COVID-19. Um, in my previous video about uh, the updates in COVID, about yeah, about the updates of COVID-19 here in Kalibo, um, I mentioned that we don't have. We don't have uh, any patients right now. There's no person under investigation right now. It's we're it's uh, all been cleared negative. Now Facebook as a social medium, uh, it became a problem um, with uh, a lot of people sharing what usually uh, are done by trolls. These guys are the ones who, I, I, I'm not sure, they're not getting paid for it, I think, but they are. Um, maybe they get a kick out of it, that uh, their posts usually became uh, popular, even if it's uh, false. You get videos uh, showing people falling, uh, falling down and uh, on the streets in Wuhan and uh, um, that's not even the case uh, for uh, some of the YouTubers uh, who are uh, located in, U in Wuhan. Uh, not just um, you know, not just the locals there, but uh, the um, the YouTubers from other countries who are there. Um, they basically said that those videos of you, you see people um, you know walking like drones or zombies or something like that, or um, you have people falling on the street or or things like that. Uh, they're they're not even true. That's what they said. So when it goes back to social media, it becomes a problem uh, with regards to having the true uh, information being posted. Now our job in disaster management is to make sure that the people. Um, using all types of media that means you have the social media you have the print media uh, you have the uh, broadcast media we make sure that the information is correct we don't exaggerate in the information we don't want uh, to make people uh, frantic and panicky we just have to make sure that the information is correct and true now, in case of Kalibo, let me show you some of the videos first so that you'll understand if there's really a panic in Kalibo, okay?
So as you can see, the people of Glebo are not really uh, in a panic mode with regards to COVID-19. Sure, we do have uh, the Calibo International Airport. We have uh, uh, we have the island of Boracay. We have uh, the possibility of uh, uh, foreigners coming in, uh, visitors, tourists. But again, um, based on the information that we have, based on the information being given to us by the world. World Health Organization or WHO or the our provincial health office and Department of Health um, most of the people in Calibo uh, rely on those information and they know that there's nothing to be worried about again don't believe anything that's being posted in social media make sure that the information that they or the link that they are putting there is coming from the WHO or it has reference with WHO or the Department of Health of the Philippines or the Municipal Health Office or the Provincial Health Office. It has to have a link and a legit link that is. Um, you have those uh, tabloids in, um, in France or in uh, England, um, sorry, in London. Uh, those are tabloids. Sometimes they're not even true. So let's be sure that the information that we are getting is from uh, official sources. And that's basically what we can do to make sure that uh, we don't cause any panic. And I'll stop right here. I'll see you in the next video.